How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Talking Wars. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today we're going to be addressing the interesting situation regarding Patrick Catrone, the obviously on loan Wolves striker or Wolves loanee who's currently out on loan at Fiorentina in Italy. There's been a little bit of a, a situation uh, brewing over in Italy. Um, I'd probably say over the last year really so I'm going to be touching on it in a little bit more detail today talking about that. Because there are whispers, is he going to come back to Wolves? Could he be the Raul Jimenez replacement? Well, we're going to we're going to talk about that a little bit more. As always, let me know your thoughts as well on the situation, guys, in the comment section down below. And it's great to welcome back One Football as a channel partner. You can go and check out uh, their app, a fantastic football app. If you don't use one already, or you're not too happy with the one uh, that you're using at the moment, I would fully recommend One Football. You can get all your live football scores, football news, and team news over on there. When you first download the app, you can select your favourite team. As Wolves, you can select a few teams on there as well and you'll get push notifications and all the details linked to your club so a link to download that is in the top of the description down below now the deal with Patrick Atrone it's all all been going off really I'd say the past 12 months or so but the last week or so it started to brew and started to slowly erupt slightly of course Patrick Atrone was signed not last summer the summer before four walls and it was a move I was really, really excited with. It was a player that was so highly rated in Europe. Wasn't overly prolific in his final season at Milan, but the year before he had a really good record. And I thought, you know what, a young striker, lots of potential. Could really push him in as to the limits, really break into the team. Um, and of course, we had Europa League. I think everyone was looking forward to that. But it didn't quite work out, did it, for Catrone? I think behind the scenes, didn't quite get on with um, Nuno too much. Um, so I, I think he just wasn't happy with the amount of game time he was getting. So... Of course, last January, almost a year ago now, uh, Patrick Atrone was loaned out to Fiorentina and it was believed that there was an obligation to buy at the end of the year, uh, at the end of the loan spell, sorry, which was a two-year loan spell um, or a season and a half loan spell, sorry. So it was a, sort of across two seasons that uh, Catrone would then obviously stay at Fiorentina. It came out more recently that it wasn't quite an obligation to buy. He had to make a certain number of starts before uh, that was triggered, I think he, off the top of my head, I think it's about 25 games he had to start for, for Fiorentina for that to be activated. Quite similar to the Ryan Bennett deal uh, when he went out on loan to Leicester in January last year. He had to start five games. I think he played six or seven games to Leicester but only started four. So they didn't have to trigger that uh, purchase clause. So um, yeah, of course he's now at Swansea and Catrone of because of this obligation to buy, uh, because of obviously he, the, he has to make these starts, Fiorentina aren't quite 100% sure whether they want to keep him. So he has not started a single game this season. He started on the bench for the majority of those games. He's not getting much game time. So Wolves and Fiorentina have negotiated to take that out of the clause altogether. So they've still got an option to buy him for 16 million, pound, uh, 16 million euros, but it just takes the pressure off them as a club and pressure off Catrone a little bit so they can play him a little bit more freely. They have, they're not pressured basically into not starting him. So hopefully Wolves will see him play a little bit more. He'll get a, a little bit more game time than what he wanted to because they weren't really starting him because they still weren't very sure whether they wanted to sign him or not as well. Um, but as I say, especially over the last week or so, it's been brewing up. Uh, in sort of early September, there was a rumour that Genoa, a fellow Italian club, were interested in taking on the loan deal for Catrone. If Fiorentina weren't too, too happy with how it was going, Wolves could make an agreement and then all the sort of uh, agreement could pass over to Genoa. Obviously, that ha hasn't really come to fruition. Um, and then early December, so in the last week or so, it started to heat up again. So obviously, Wolves and Fiorentina agreed to remove this obligation to buy. Um, and then Bologna were the latest side to be linked with Catrone. You know, Catrone uh, is on their shortlist for January. Parma are also another Italian club interested in him. And apparently, uh, in the last day or so, Catrone, it's been reported, is ready to say goodbye to Fiorentina and cut ties with his club and he's reportedly cut ties with his agent as well. Uh, I think he's got a couple of uh, representatives looking after him and apparently he's cut ties with them completely and he's been looking after by his family now or by himself. Um, they did have to release a statement though yesterday, Fiorentina, about this. Um, of course, it was Calcio Mercato, I think, in Italy. Uh, I've got a couple of respectable journalists on there. There are stories on there which... Always you have to take with a big pinch of salt, but they do have some respectable journalists on there as well. 
Um, and Fiorentina had to come out and make a statement about their recent article and said basically it was a load of rubbish. I think they, uh, you know, they almost tried to create an issue between the Fiorentina team and Cotrone, and Fiorentina had denied the uh, alleged contrasts between Cotrone and the rest of the squad. But they didn't really say anything about his future. So I think next month is going to be a really intriguing one for Patrick Cotrone. But the, the, the big point is... Should Wolves, if Fiorentina aren't happy, should Wolves bring him back? You know, he was brought in. He did, you know, I feel, I felt he did okay with the game time that he got. He seemed like someone that sort of knew roughly what he was doing. I think he snapped at his chances slowly. There was a couple of big chances, especially the ones I can remember against Manchester City. We did go on to win that game, but he missed one or two big chances in that game as well. Um, and of course, unfortunately, with the unfortunate injury of Raul Jimenez, who's probably, you know, we don't know when he's going to return. Rather than splashing, you know, 20, 30 million possibly on a striker this January, should Wolves just say to Fiorentina, look, if you're not happy, we'll have Catrano back and, you know, see how he can get on for another sort of four or five months in the Premier League. Um, I'd, l I'd like to know your thoughts on that one, uh, definitely. It was said, you know, Catrone, as soon as he left the club, he was having interviews with Ital the Italian press and he just said he grew a lot as a player at Wolves and I think he sort of uh, appreciated his time at the club, but he said Nuno had his favourites. And you know what? I think Nuno wouldn't have been too happy with that. I think Nuno had made comments about it at the time as well. So even if Wolves, you know, it, I think it would take a lot of convincing for Nuno to say, yeah, come on, then we'll have him back. So that I think that has got to, to got to be taken into account as well. But is this could this be an expensive flop for Wolves? Could this be one of the biggest flops in Wolves transfer history? If Catrone doesn't return to Wolves, Fiorentina don't sign him. You know, I think Wolves will struggle to get sort of double figures in terms of millions uh, for him. I think they will struggle to get 10 million plus for him. And of course, that's not a, not a ridiculous loss, but, you know, six or seven million down the drain. You know, it's it's not a, a small amount of money. So I think this could be, you know, if Catrone struggles to get his head down, um, I think this could be one of the a, a one of the big transfer flops for Wolves, really. Uh, but look, now he's got that obligation removed on his contract. I'm hoping he can get his head down play a little bit more football and uh, it'll be intriguing to see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Should Wolves bring Patrick Catrone back and should he be the number one striker short term whilst Raul Jimenez is out injured? That's going to be an interesting one. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all very, very soon.